everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Duffy with Simply Duffy and on my um, channel here I do DIY projects. I do home decor projects. I do birthday decorating projects like cakes or cupcakes or cookies or even party decorations. Um, so if that is something that you might be interested in, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell notification. That way you're notified when I post a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some items that I made for my twins' birthday party. So they just turned 15 and they are boy-girl twins, so I can't do like a total girl theme or a boy theme. I always kind of have to go neutral in between. So I'm just going to show you a few items that I made, a couple treats, some decorations, and if that's something that you're interested in, then continue watching. Also, I didn't get a whole lot of pictures of the items because Everybody started coming for the birthday party and I just got, and you know, I just got thrown into the party. Um, but I do have a few items in the video, so I hope you enjoy. First up, I'm going to show you how to make this backdrop banner along with this balloon garland. I'm going to start this video off by showing you how I made the backdrop. I am using these plastic table covers from Walmart. They are 54 inches by 108 inches. I am using two of each color, so that is a total of eight. Also, I'm going to be using a sharp pair of scissors, and also I'm going to be using some twine. I'm going to start off by taking my table cover and opening it up and making sure that I will be cutting on the long end and not the short end because I want my strips to be long. So then I'm going to take my scissors and just go ahead and cut these in two inch strips and I'm going to do this for all of my table covers. And once they are all cut out I go ahead and I open up those strips. Next I'm going to take those strips and tie them onto my twine and I am making my banner to be about six feet in width. So um, depending on how large you want to make your banner will be how many table covers you're going to need. I am just putting these on in a pattern. Um, you can put them on randomly if you want. It's so simple to make. It, you really can't go wrong. And then I just hang it up by using command hooks. I did end up using four command hooks just to make sure that it was straight across the top. So I made a balloon garland and I used the plastic balloon decorating strips and I went ahead and alternated my colors on the strip by placing the ends of the balloons into the little holes. Um, next time I will kind of do the same color two or three of the balloons because I don't feel like it was mixed in there um, that great. Um, and I hung these on the wall using thumbtacks because it wouldn't stay on my command hook strips. So next up, I'm going to show you how to make some homemade sprinkles. To make the sprinkles, I used royal icing and I will leave a link down below to a recipe. I went ahead and colored it with my Wilt in Gel food colorings. I used teal, rose, lemon yellow, and violet. I put my royal icing in a piping bag and I used a number two tip. Next, I went ahead and piped just lines on my parchment paper on a baking sheet. And after I completely filled up my baking sheet, I went ahead and set that to the side and let it harden. Once it was hardened, I went ahead and used my spatula and I broke those up into small pieces. And that's how easy it is to make your own sprinkles. I'm going to show you how to make sequin sprinkles and these are really easy to make as well. I'm going to be using a cookie stencil that has small dots on it, if you can see those, and I will link that down below. I went ahead and taped some parchment paper to my table just because I felt like it was a lot easier um, having it secure. So I'm laying down my stencil, and then I'm going to take my royal icing and make a thin layer on my stencil covering those holes. And after I have it smoothed out, I'm going to lift that up. And then I'm going to repeat the process covering this whole entire parchment paper and I do that with all the colors and then I set them to the side and let those harden as well. And once they're hardened you can go ahead and remove those big pieces and just scrape off your small confetti sprinkles into a bowl. And that's how easy it is to make round confetti sprinkles and you can use any colors that you want and it'll save you a lot of money. So now I'm just going to make my own sprinkle mix by taking my little homemade jimmies and also my sequin sprinkles. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some sugar pearls, which are store-bought, um, into my mix. 
And I used that sprinkle mix on my kid's birthday cake here. And also I used it on top of the Rice Krispie treats, which I'm gonna show you how to make, and also their popcorn um, goodies that I'm gonna show you how to make. Okay, so moving along, I'm gonna show you the birthday treats. First up is going to be the Rice Krispie treats. I'm starting off with melting one stick of unsalted butter. Next, I'm going to add in one package of the large marshmallows, and I'm going to melt those down. And I'm making sure to keep stirring so my marshmallow does not burn. Next, I'm going to add in five cups of Rice Krispies treats, and I'm just gonna go ahead and stir that and mix that together very well. Then I'm gonna take a buttered pan and go ahead and put that mixture inside the pan. Then I'm going to make sure to pat that down in there nice and tight. I'm using a piece of parchment paper because it's very sticky. Next, I'm going to take my leftover royal icing and go ahead and put that all over the top of my Rice Krispie Treats. I'm using all the different colors. If you want to use candy melt for this, you can go right ahead and do so as well. I'm going to go ahead and take my sprinkle mix and sprinkle that on top of my Rice Krispie Treats. And the last thing I did was cut them out and put them on a plate. Now to make the birthday popcorn, I went ahead and melted some white candy melts down in the microwave and I followed directions on the back of the package. I went ahead and mixed that into my popcorn and I mixed that together thoroughly. Next, I just transferred that popcorn over to a baking sheet that was lined with parchment paper. And then I took my homemade sprinkle mix and sprinkled that on top of my popcorn mix and just set that to the side to let the candy melts harden. And I'm gonna place my popcorn in these cute little snack bags. I found these at the Dollar Tree and they just look like really cute miniature popcorn containers. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also leave a comment down below on if you're going to try any of these. Also, if you have any other video suggestion ideas, I would love to hear those. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.